Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, get a universal message, see how we're doing on our soul's journey. All right, Pisces, how is Pisces doing on their soul's journey here? And we have lightning, and this is disruption, right? So something's causing disruption in your life here, right? Mm. Some of you may be going through a storm here. Hmm. But one thing about the storm, it could be scary, right? It could be disastrous. It could be devastating, right? But what you do during that, the decisions you make, is what determines your outcome, right? So no matter how hard it gets, right? Don't sacrifice yourself for anything, right? Which What I mean by that is like, don't do nothing you don't want to do, right? Don't do nothing out of desperation, right? I feel like this is going to be the biggest le lesson, right? Whatever this disruption is relevant to, whatever's being disturbed in your life, be positive about it. Think about things before you do them. Right? During this challenging time. Think about the things that you do. Feel the things that you do. Right? This is going to determine your outcome. This is going to determine how you move forward. However you come up out of this storm. However you come up out of whatever's disrupting your life. What you do to come up out of it is going to determine how you move forward. All right, Pisces, so on the soul's journey, there's some disruption happening. There's some things that aren't going according to plan. There's things that's popping up all of a sudden. If it ain't one thing, it's another, right? The more I, the, the more I take steps forward, I feel like it's just something trying to pull me back and hold me back, right? Every time I'm on the right track, I got to stop what I'm doing because it's a disturbance in my household or it's a disturbance in my mental or it's a disturbance in my emotions or it's a disturbance in my environment. Like I always got to stop what I'm doing to go handle something else, right? So like I said, remember, think positive about everything. Know that this is too shall pass. It could just be a test. Right. But make sure your intentions are set, because whatever this, this this situation is that's causing so much disruption in your life right now. How you move during this storm will determine how you move from this point forward. So that's how it is on the soul's journey, Pisces. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's collect the energy over your connections. Let's see what's going on. And, and your connections here, Pisces. What is the energy surrounding Pisces connections? We have the Two of Pentacles. What is the energy surrounding Pisces connection here? We have the Moon. We have the Queen of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. The Three of Swords. Mm. What's crossing all this energy, Pisces, and this judgment? Okay. So this is the universe saying, right? This is you and your intuition. This is what you feeling inside. I got to stop making up excuses for situations. I got to take a stand somewhere. I got to deliver myself from anything that's not serving me. Right? So this is the universe saying with judgment, right? If you if you feel something, say something, right? If you see something, say something when it comes to this connection. Don't hold back, right? Don't hold back, right? Be solid in who you are. Two of pinnacles, make that decision, right? To live a full life. Take responsibility over living a full life, right? Don't be afraid to be who you truly are. Right. Don't be afraid to say no. Don't be afraid to do something different. Don't be afraid to go against the grain if it's something that you feel like you don't want to do or it's something that you don't agree with here. Right. 
Your intuition is trying to lead you to where you're supposed to go. So don't ignore those feelings that live within you. Stay solid right here with the Queen of Pentacles. Stay solid within yourself, right? As long as you doing more pleasing of yourself, you live better, you feel better, you last longer, right? Some of you want to get out into the dating world or have a relationship or a partner, that you will offer your heart to somebody that will break it, right? So the universe is saying, stop doing shit you don't want to do. Stop doing stuff out of loneliness or boredom. Pay attention to what you do. Feel the things that you do. Make a decision to be solid with yourself and enjoy your life. Let your intuition lead you. If you feel something, it's real, right? Let your intuition guide you. To, to where you're supposed to be in life, to who you're supposed to be with. If you stay solid within yourself, you will have a, 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 a vibrant relationship, right? Some of you haven't been in a relationship in so long and you're willing to make an offer. But that's why it's like pay attention to what you do. Feel, Listen to your intuition because everybody's not here to offer you love. Not everybody wants love, okay? So let's see. What is this three of swords? Why don't everybody want love? Why does Pisces have to be so cautious over who they get a heart to? Because that's really what I'm feeling like it is. You need to pay more attention on who you get your heart to. Because with the Page of Pentacles, you, you, you carry a heavy responsibility right you got a heavy load on your shoulders a lot of people depend on you and you don't have time to be giving your heart to the wrong people because the things that you do it's like a domino effect it has effect on everybody else in your life right especially if you the breadwinner if you the one who um holds everything down right it's the six of pentacles pisces this this three of swords is here because you need to Give your heart to someone who can give you 100%. Someone who match your energy, right? 100% for myself and 100% from anybody I'm offering my heart to. The universe is saying, if you can't do that, then there's going to be difficulty, right? There's going to be a heartbreak, right? So it's like, make sure that you can find stability in the person that you give your, your heart to here, right? So what else comes with this three of swords here? And it's the ten of pentacles. You want to give somebody your heart that's ready for a family, that's ready for a commitment, that's ready for a companion, that's ready to take responsibility over other people's lives. If you're not dealing with somebody who, who ready, who's standing ten toes down, that's ready to give to the situation, open to give it to a situation, ready for a commitment, ready for a family, ready for a relationship, then that's, if that's not what's coming towards you, then they're not the type of people you need to get your heart to if they're not in that energy, right? So what else comes with this three of swords here? And it's the five of cups. Because if you make a mistake, you're going to end up hurt again, right? You're going to end up wishing that things could be better. It's going to leave you stagnant. It's going to, it's going to take you longer to heal, right? We can't keep getting in relationships that fail. We can't. We have to balance our lives out with this two of pentacles. So this three of swords is here because Pisces, the universe is saying, we don't want you to offer your heart to anybody who's not willing to give to you equally, right? Anybody that doesn't match what you feel, what you given, the universe doesn't want you to settle for less with the 10 of pentacles. If somebody is not 10 toes down with you, want to ride with you, willing to build with you, willing to protect you right? Willing to be your companion, willing to provide, right? Stable in the mind, in the spirit, in the heart, right? If you cannot see this in the person you giving your love to, then that is not your person. If you're sad and depressed because of a relationship, then you need to reevaluate your situation, 
That's what the universe is saying over here with this three of swords because we can't keep offering love to the wrong people. We got to make better decisions. We got to make decisions that's stable and that's going to bring us happiness. Okay? So let's see. What is this two of pentacles? Right? What is this two of pentacles? What are these decisions here? The page of swords. So it's like state your business at the beginning of these relationships. Right? See what type of baggage your person has. Be an observer. Pay attention. Communicate. Ask questions. Right? Because you have a standard. You have a standard that you have to obey. An oath that you took to yourself. Uh, uh, I'm not going to settle for this. I'm not going to settle for that. And it's like the universe is saying, how you know what you're settling for if you don't ask no questions, if you don't really know who you're dealing with? You're just going off of intuition and what you feel. Right? What you, you, you see the best in people. Right. You got to give a person an opportunity to show you who they really is. And a good way to do it is start asking questions. Right. State your business. Let a person know where you stand. Right. Where I stand and what would I re, uh, uh, expect out of relationships. Right. Let that be known at the beginning. If a person can't fulfill it, then and there, then, hey, maybe maybe this ain't the one. Right. So let's see. So you need to bring that into balance. Right. How you observe people and, and pay attention to what they say, what their responses are when you communicate with them, when you ask them certain questions that you would ask before you get in a relationship or something serious and committed. Right. So make sure you be vocal and open and speaking your truth. You get more respect that way, too, because they know what they know what you're not going to tolerate. So they're not going to even bring it your way. What else comes with this two of pentacles? And it's the strength. You have to be brave and assertive. Mean what you say. Say what you mean. Don't go back on your word. Don't let nobody woo you or sweet talk you into giving in. You set a boundary. Let it be that way and be proud of the boundary that you set. Right? It gives you power. That's where your strength come in at. Right? So let's get one more for this two of pentacles of things you need to balance out here. And it's the Ace of Swords, right? You have to know what you want. You have to know what you're speaking on, right? You have to live in your truth. And that's when you get crowned at. That's when you become the king or a queen over yourself, over your life. When you start taking the necessary steps towards getting what you want, set your intention. Start talking about what you want instead of the things that you don't want. Be honest with yourself and be honest with others and be brave enough. Pisces, don't let nobody take you off your, uh, your Dean, right? With this moon is saying when you, when you approaching these connections, when you feeling somebody lusting for somebody, desiring somebody, whatever it is in the whole relationship, don't never let your intuition get away from you. Keep letting it light your way. Keep letting it lead you. Don't let fear hold you back. Be brave enough to say what you got to say in these connections. Don't wait till next week to speak on something that happened last week, right? When it happens, speak on it right then and there, right? State your business, clear the air. We're not dragging situations alone. So don't be afraid of living in your truth. If, it's, if, if it breaks you up, then oh well, you living righteous by you. Let your intuition lead you in these relationships if you feel it is real. So let's see what this moon, let's see what's going on here. And it's the temperance. And with the temperance, Pisces, this is simply saying like, um, make sure that the energies is flowing, right? Make sure that the energies are mixing well, right? Make sure that you all are headed towards the same thing right make sure that you all you know like the same things or are into the same things right because some people just ain't meant to be on your path but if you decide to let someone in make sure that you all are are headed towards the same direction make sure that there's something there that that can push you all forward right and sometimes that may just take a little time some of y'all need to be more patient with yourselves before rushing into connections, right? Because some of you need to still got some healing to do still, 
right? What aspects of your life needs rest and healing? The heart. The heart needs healing. Because love make you do things you probably would, wouldn't have done. Love make you do crazy things, right? You, you Sometimes you don't think straight. You focus on your relationship so much and you lose other aspects of your life. So the moon is here to try to keep you in tune with your intuition. And it's like, if you see a red flag, pay attention to it. Don't ignore it. Right? So some of you still got a lot of healing to do. And you're encouraged to take this time and work with yourself. Pour into yourself. Make sure you can mix good energy on your own. Make sure you know where you headed in life. Make sure you know what you want. Instead of just accepting stuff. Okay? So let's get one more for this moon. And it's the seven of pentacles. Be patient with yourself, Pisces. The fruit is the last thing to grow on the tree. Right? And whatever type of seed you plant, that's the type of fruit that's going to grow on that tree. So whatever you do now... That's going to be the outcome of your reality, right? So whatever type of seed you planting in a person, that's going to be your future. So the universe is just basically saying, make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you know what you want. Don't go investing your seeds into any old body because sometimes everybody don't want love. If you stay true to yourself, you can stay grounded. You can stay solid. You can get the best out of your relationships. The queen of pentacles, she likes the finer things in life. She likes men who are paid, who can help take care of her, who can support her, who she knows she can depend on. She likes people that she can depend on being responsible because she likes nice things. The queen of pentacles isn't a slouch. She knows how to get her own. She's add. She adds value to a connection. So she needs a person that adds value to the connection. The universe is saying you don't want to be the only person that's a value to the connection. You need someone that's on your frequency. Someone who's aiming for some of the same things you are. Someone who's willing to compromise and know what it takes to have a successful relationship. So if you stick to your gun, stick to your word, don't, don't break your own boundaries. Mean what you say, say what you mean and stand on that. When you do that, you attract what you want because you ain't taking nothing less. So the universe is saying, Pisces, stay in your lane, stay grounded here with this queen of Pentacles, and be patient. Things may not work out right when you want them to. So that's where your patience need to come in at. And then we have the sun. So if you can do it, you get everything you want, right? You get what you want. You get what's coming to you. And then we have the hermit, right? This is about seeking, right? This is wisdom, right? But this hermit, let me see. It say, what situation in your life is asking you to look within? What situation in your life is asking you to look within, right? When it comes to relationships, what mistakes you don't want to make again, right? That's why it's like state your business, know what you want. Seek out the truth of you. Live in your truth and it'll tell you what you want, what you need, what you're willing to deal with and what you're not. So Pisces, some of you need to take some time to just reevaluate yourself. Because some of us don't know what we want. Really, we want this, we want that, but nobody's perfect. Uh, being perfect is just an illusion, okay? But yeah, the hermit is a seeker. So some of you still need to figure out what do you want out of relationships. That's a good. That's the. That's a good start to making one last, knowing what you want, and being true to yourself. Right? We ain't just getting in relationships because we lonely. We got to know what we want. It's, it's got to work out. It's got to mean something. It's got to benefit. 
in some type of way. I can't just be aimlessly in a relationship that ain't going nowhere. We still doing the same thing five years from now. I can't grow in this relationship. I got to go, right? But the universe don't want you to waste that time no more. They don't want you to waste no more time trying to figure it out. They want you to know what you want so that it comes to you. Okay, so let's see what else comes with this Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Wands. Some people move real fast. Something is happening real fast. Pisces, maybe you elevating real fast these days. Right? Maybe a lot of people coming at you and it's confusing. Maybe you um, getting a lot of attention right now. Talking to several people. Right? Practicing. Figuring this shit out. Because <laughs> I just see like a lot of people coming at you. Right. Because you are knowing your value. You are knowing what you're worth and what you bring to the table and what you want. And you you learning these things like you getting better and better and better. And the better you get, the more people just be coming at you. The more people are attracted to you, the more people have a lot of passion for you. Right. So, you know. Some of you just have decisions to make. Some of you need to choose who the best person for you. Right? Who with this page of Pentacles are you going to offer your love to? Who you going to come out for? Right? Hopefully not the wrong person. Right? Remember, the universe say you want somebody that's going to give you 100%, that you could be 100%. Somebody that's on your same love frequency. You want somebody who can stand 10 toes down, who's looking for a commitment, who wants a family, who who who's a provider, a protector. Right? All of that. You make a mistake, you're going to be sad and heartbroken. So before you come out and make your offer, make sure you know what you want. Because the Page of Pentacles carry a heavy responsibility. Any relationship you get in is going to be a heavy responsibility on you. So you want to make sure that you choose the right person that can alleviate, eliminate some of them bricks that's so hard to carry or them wands, right? So let's see. What is this Page of Pentacles here? And it's the Death card. Some of you don't need to make no offers until you make that change within yourself. Right? Till you have a transition within yourself. Because I do get that energy that some of some Pisces don't all together know everything that they want. But they're learning. Right? They're getting wiser. They're getting smarter. Right? So with this uh, death card coming with the Page of Pentacles, it's just like... Make sure when you make a change, it's for the better and not for the worse, okay? And there's certain ways you could be sure about the person you're picking by listening, to your, by listening to your intuition. Letting that lead you, letting that guide you, right? Because that's the God that lives within you. Okay, so let's see what else comes with this page of Pentacles. So Pisces, this isn't necessarily the energy of your connection. This is like for, for people who single, who wanting to get in connections. This is for people who are single, right? Thinking about having a person come into their life, but being sure about who you invest in and what type of person you're going to give your heart to. What type of person can you trust with your heart? Right, because you're looking for something to last. Nobody wants to keep on having relationships, be with a person five or six years, and then it don't work out. The universe don't want you to waste time like that. So if you got to be single until you absolutely sure this person it got me and it gonna protect me, and I can trust that um I could trust my my very existence with this person, then that's when I'm gonna open up and move forward. But until then. Keep they coming at you fast until then. Keep practicing, keep practicing, and on how to speak to, to, to speak up on what you want, or whatever is going on, right? However, you deal with all these people who are trying to holler at you, that's practice, right? No serious commitments unless you are absolutely sure. And when you deal with people, make sure that you're listening to your intuition because it's not gonna lie to you. 
right? So this page of pentacles come with the death card and that's simply make sure when you make an offer, it's, it's the right one, right? And then we have the king of wands, right? When you make an offer, make sure that it's a steady offer. The king of wands has drama in their life, but they know how to hold that together because nobody's perfect, like I said. So it say, what ideas are you ready to implement with others, right? So you want somebody that's creative, somebody that's a leader, somebody that's a leader, right? Somebody who isn't afraid of hard work, somebody that's skilled, handy, male or female, it doesn't matter. You want somebody that's steady and stable, somebody that you can depend on being responsible, Somebody that match your love frequency. All right, Pisces, let's get one more for this page of Pentacles, and it's the Ten of Swords. Right? You don't want to make offers that's going to end. This say what situation in your life needs to come to an end, right? And I feel like it's moving fast, hopping in relationships. That's the, that's the part of your life that needs to come to an end. Right? So you don't waste no more time with the wrong people. Okay, Pisces? So let's see what's crossing this energy. And it's the Six of Cups. Right? And this say, what memories from the past are trying to get your attention? Right? Somebody from your past may be coming up. You may end up reconciling with someone. Right? So somebody from the past is coming towards you, Pisces. And then this is a test to see if you learned your lesson. So I hope this resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, we have the heart chakra and it's the fourth chakra. And this one is relevant to radiate warmth and sin sincerity. I am open to sharing, accepting, communicating, and connecting with others as I focus on this moment, not the past or the future. A smile, a kind-hearted way of speaking, or a hug goes a long way towards uplifting others. I offer care and support where I can without rescuing. I, I nurture and respect my relationships, right? So radiate warmth and harm and sincerity is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.